Welcome to Rocks Talks. It's a beautiful morning, and it is the first time since I was 16 that I did not have to spring forward. Uh, no daylight savings for me being in Arizona, so that's kind of fun. Just like, oh, wait, we woke up and the time is still the same. Oh, wait, that's cool. I mean, we're in a different time zone, but the time is still the same. Uh, it's, it's interesting coming back and experiencing that decades and decades and decades later. Today we're going to talk about the Oscars. I've got a follow-up for you on the Kate Middleton of it all. And we're going to talk about the weekend. I think that'll cover it. My goodness. Um, lots to talk about. So th- let's dive in. The Oscars were last night. And did you watch them? Probably didn't. Most people didn't, I'm assuming. I don't think the Nielsen ratings have come out yet. But just in general, all of the award shows just have been on a major decline for like at least a decade. However, the highlights you need to know, Oppenheim won a lot as they've been running the table um, this season. So no surprise there. But the night was definitely stolen by Ryan Gosling, who sang, I'm just Ken, and put on quite the performance in a full-on pink uh, suit. He, I mean, he's a great singer. Uh, I remember Ryan Gos- Gosling back in the day. I don't mean the notebook. I actually mean from the Mickey Mouse, the new Mickey Mouse Club. He was on it with Justin Timberlake and my guy, JC Chazé and Carrie Russell and Brittany and Christina. All of them were all on the show together. And little Ryan and little Justin Timberlake would like run around together. And I remember that. So I knew the guy could sing. And he also sang, didn't he sing in, uh, was it a, was it a Hollywood story? What is that story? A love story? A Hollywood story? A somebody story? I can't remember the name of it, but it came out a while. You know, he and Emma Stone did their thing. So anyway, I knew he could sing. And of course, if you didn't know he could, see, he could sing, you were you discovered that in the Barbie movie. But watching him sing live was, was great. He did an awesome job. He started out like right behind Barbie, actually, which I thought Margot Robbie, which was a great way to start it. And then even came, um, they even had the two Ken, two of the other Kens that were, were big in the sh- movie were uh, performing with him. Oh, I should mention he had Slash and Mark Ronson with him too, playing the guitar, so big deal there. And then um, he did come down off stage and he gave the mic to four important people in his life. Uh, number one, two, and three would be, of course, the uh, creator of Barbie, Margot Robbie, as well as America Ferrara, so the Barbie Barbie crew. And then he also went to Emma Stone, which I thought was sweet because they were in a Hollywood story. It's a Hollywood story together. um, And of course, both singers and all that as well, too. He did his thing and it was exciting and it felt like it was the Grammys, not the Oscars. So It was fun to see a performance like that. If you want to check it out online, um, it'll it'll be three minutes and 15 seconds of enjoyment in your life. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm just making sure me. Okay, she is. She's running around with a toy. We We can work with that. Um, other than that, like I said, it, it was the Oscars. It's what you expect from the Oscars. Beautiful outfits, beautiful, beautiful gowns. What was interesting was I actually saw more red carpet gowns from the Vanity Fair party after as opposed to the actual Oscars, which makes me think that, think that maybe not everyone went there, but the Vanity, Vanity Fair party was the place to be and to go. But if you talk about Ken and Ryan Gosling, you pretty much have an Oppenheimer. You'll know that that's pretty much the gist of of what occurred. Um, Emma Stone did win, by the way, Best Actress. Just calling that out for the movie she was in. It's a little different. And I think those are the main things. I mean, yeah, there's some speeches were like beautiful and wonderful, but those are things that people will be talking about today and tomorrow and what you need to know. Speaking of what you need to know, what is going on with the Royals? You and I talked about Kate and and all that last week and how she was missing or she missing and then there was an appearance of her kind of in in a vehicle well mother's day for the uk was last week so they put out a royal photo of her with the kids allegedly taken by prince william and it was like hey yeah happy mother's day thanks for your support well the picture and I've looked at the picture, and I have to say, maybe I don't have these eagle eyes, but p- people had eagle eyes and thought, this something's rotten in the city of Denmark still. The picture looked off. There were just some things like Charlotte's shirt looked weird, yeah, Louis' finger looked off. There's some weird things, okay? Well, lo and behold, the news outlets decide, did what they call a kill 
AP, AP put a kill out on the picture, which they do when there's a story or there's an image or something where they found there's too many mm, questionable things that there are falsity, fal- falsities or it's been doctored. And so they pull it and they don't run it. And that is what happened to the picture. What is happening with the royals? The picture got killed. And so huge, huge deal. Now, I did see a, a little something where where Prince William came out and said, oh, just like everybody else, you know, I, I'm not trying to imitate him, I'm just talking like a guy. I tried to Photoshop, but I don't know what I'm doing, and blah, 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 because it had been Photoshopped, or some people think it was AI'd. Why? Why? Why would you make the photo you're going to put out when everybody's wondering where Kate is, and it is a major international story, whether it should be or not, why would you get an an inauthentic picture and put that out? You're just wanting the conspiracies to get bigger. So my question is, is that what they want? They want the conspiracies to go even off the charts even more? Or are they just not smart enough to, like, handle such things? I don't know what it is. But also, people were noting that those who didn't realize it was AI or Photoshopped or whatever noticed she was not wearing her wedding ring. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought that... I thought that the UK, that they wore their engagement wedding rings on their right hand, not their left. Are they not opposite of us? I thought that was the case. Could be wrong. But in on her left hand, there was no ring. On her right hand, you really, I mean, technically, maybe by the angle, you might be able to miss it. Don't know, but it's not seen. So that was also, it. why would she not wear it? And then other people are like, well, maybe she doesn't wear a wedding ring. But you would wear your wedding ring or your engagement ring during a period of time where people are wondering and spe- and speculating about your marriage and what's going on, don't you think you'd wear it for the picture, the official picture you're putting out for the Mother's Day? I mean, yikes. So, I, like I said, I don't know if they're just like, let's make this a big thing so no one's paying attention to whatever's going on with the king or with William in another way or with, well, we don't know not Harry and Meghan because they'd, they, they'd say, let's look at that. Maybe there's something, or Camilla, maybe there's something else going on and they really are doing a good job of distracting the heck out of us or they're just really bad at this. And then why? Why are you, why, what are you trying to hide? Why can't they just show her? The woman was literally hours after giving birth out waving to the people. You think that with the surgery, she couldn't just do a little wave, a little something? It's a little odd. It's a lot odd. It's totally odd. And so now the speculation that had simmered down from that picture was like, back again. I'd love to know what you think. And you might be thinking, I don't really care. I get that too. But it is interesting. Whether you care about the royals or not, (laughs) my dog is tickling my toes. Um, It is interesting that this is so bizarre and someone is so hidden is like, what? It's wild. Uh, this weekend, I know there's something else I want to talk about, but this weekend, let me tell you about this. So this weekend, what did I do? You know, it was just a regular, we're getting into the swing of things. I feel like we're, we're always getting in the swing of things, but that not in a bad way. So Maisie's getting a little bit more, although oh, weekends are not good for her because we're out of our routine. And so she decides to just, uh, Maisie, like I think she's doing now, revolts against the system. I don't trust her. So she decided to just leave bits and, and and treats, not treats, gifts, not gifts, all around on Saturday. By the end of Saturday, I'm like, I have given you so much love and you just poop and pee in the wrong places. I was like, come on now. Um, but then yesterday she was better. So we're just working through it. There she is. Say hi. Oh, you're giving the full on. I did a lot of content creation this weekend, working for brands and completing some specials with them. What's been interesting over the last week or so, the content I've been creating for brands has all been dog content. So Maisie has been in a couple, you've been in a couple, yes, commercials as Scott likes to call them, um, for dog anxiety. So we did a little kit with that and then for dog treats, which was great because it helped me start get her into learning how to sit, which she knows how to sit now, which is exciting. Now we had to work on stay and all the things and perfect the sit. But so we did that. And then Baylor was in one with me um, for this really cool tray, couch tray that goes on your, the side of your um, seat. It was very cool. And yeah, she was in in there. So they both were in different, different brand um, shoot collabs with me this, me this weekend. I want to say there's something else. I did dance, did that. Oh, my birthday is in like six days. And I realized something about myself. 
while I do appreciate getting older, I appreciate having a birthday. I am excited about living another day, another year, all the things. I realize that I'm hard on myself in March. In March is about the time where I'm like, oh, I should be doing more. I should be more fit. I should be further along. I should be all these things. And I'm and I caught myself doing that a little bit this weekend and even this morning. And I don't know the solution to that. I don't know. Do you go through that where you sometimes you're like, oh, I should be more. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, I should be further along. But I definitely have been feeling that over the last 24 hours, which is like right before my birthday. But with that, I remembered my my intention for this month is really to be intentional in all the things I do. And so I s- took a moment and celebrated that. And I have been and I am being intentional and being more informational, informing and sharing. And I think with even with the workshops that I've been doing, the YouTube workshop is coming up in three days. Yay. Um, I am sharing and I'm giving more information and helping people along, which is really exciting and wonderful. Although I will say I was watching some of the videos that um, people were u- doing post TikTok workshop, and I was like, Grr, "It's exactly what I said not to do." But I have to remember that's just part of it's part of learning. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. And also, when when someone does the workshop with me, I give them what they need to know, but I'm not coaching them along, right? I I did offer everyone a one on one, uh, like a consultation on their TikTok. So if they do come. If the ones who are doing that do come like after that for it, I will tell them. But other than that, I have to remember, if they're not hiring me to coach them continuously, then I got to let go and let God and I have to be okay with that. But I want everyone to be their best. So that's a little hard. But And I want to be my best too. So it's a, it's a challenge and I'm figuring it out. And at 44, pushing 45, like literally pushing, like, I don't know. It's, I'll figure it out. Oh, I remember what I want to tell you. We watched Ted Lasso for the first time over the last week, and we've really been enjoying it. So we finished season one on um, uh, this weekend, and it's it is. I know everyone talked about it. I'm like, oh yeah. Sometimes when people talk about something, you got to do this thing. I'm not the one who's like, oh, everyone says I got to do it. I got to do it. I like to be at the at the top of the curve, not at the back. And so I'm an early adopter. So if I miss that. I'll get around to it when I do. Scott started watching it. I'm like, all right, I'll see it. And it's so good. Thoroughly enjoying that. So that is a really good show. Another show that we're watching that is going to be in the end stages, the last two episodes, come out on Friday. Y'all, it's called The Dynasty. And it is on, no, it's not like the Carrington and the Colbys. It is uh, It is about the Patriots dynasty with Kraft, Belichick, and Brady. And man, oh, man, it is good. So they, d- they it, also on Apple TV, they rolled out two episodes a week. So they've done six. So it's been three weeks now, and they have the last two come out this Friday. If you like football at all, I don't even care if you like Patriots, because there's enough like Patriots hating inside of the documentary, you'll be fine. But if you like football at all, you have got to watch this. It is something else. And if you're like new to football, you're like, I just like the dynasty of the Chiefs because you like the Kelsey and the Mahomes and the the Swift of it all. You still need to watch this because it is so good. So good. I went over to my dad's to um, meet with him about something this weekend. And I was like, Dad, have you been watching this? And he's like, no. And I'm like, start now. So he got his little Apple TV up and running. It is that good. So you need to check it out. Like, that's a yes. You're welcome. Let me know what you think about it. All right. Enough of me today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, Seize this moment. And if you are in one of the many states, you know, the 48 states that do observe daylight savings, this is a hard Monday for you. So I'm wishing you all the best. If you're in the Aloha State or the Grand Canyon State, I see you. All right, everyone. Be good. Go be great. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.